Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing great. Welcome to today's coaching communities of practices session on Discover the Power Within, Unleashing Your Inner Day. On behalf of Agile People Ops, me, Mariana Di Rosario, your host, would like to thank you all for joining us today. So this series of calls, they will redefine the way we learn collaboratively, opening the doors to endless possibilities for personal and professional growth. These sessions take place every second Wednesday of the month. I would now like to introduce our speaker for today's session, Ms. Sonam Anya Balati. She is an ICF PCC, a coach trainer, a facilitator, certified NLP practitioner, and an image consultant. She has a progressive experience of 15 years, has done more than 600 hours of coaching, and has facilitated programs with over 5,500 individuals. She is passionate about enabling individuals to realize their full potential by raising their level of awareness and focusing on their strengths. She conducts bespoke programs, webinars, one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions with individuals as well as groups. A very warm welcome to you, Sonam, and to whoever has joined us as the audience. Over to you, Sonam. Thank you so much, Mariana. So welcome all of you. You would have read what today's session is about. So who would like to share? What is today's session about? Any particular word or phrase you remember from the session details that were circulated? You can use the chat box or you can unmute yourself and share. Okay, so have you all heard of the term inner game? Okay, so Timothy Galway is a very famous author who wrote this book as well. And I'm just going to show you the book. So he wrote this book, if you can see it. One second. So this is the inner game of tennis that he wrote. And uh, this book talks about what goes inside us, the inner game that we play, that little voice in our head. Does it talk to you? Does it say, say something? Whether you're doing something good, whether you're doing something bad, whether there's a fear. So does it talk about something to you? gives you those messages which determine what you do next. So according to Timothy Galway, he says that performance is equal to, so what do you think when we perform something, what is a performance dependent on? Anybody wants to use the chat box? What is a performance dependent on? How well we do something or how badly we do something? It's best to share the chat box or unmute yourself. You guys have been a really interactive audience. So let's get the same out here today. Because we're definitely going to be talking, right? We're here to share. We're going to be in breakout rooms to do some exercise of sharing. So the session is for all of you. It's not for me to just come here and speak about something and go back. So anyone wants to give it a shot? I can see something in the chat box. How we perceive our abilities in the situation, our effort. Great, absolutely. How we perceive our abilities. What else? What would our effort also be dependent on? Anything else anyone wants to share? So he says performance, so we always have a potential, something that determines us, something that we're capable of, right? We have a particular potential, but what this little voice in our head, our inner voice does to us, determines what happens to that potential. And that's what our performance is all about. 
that's what Timothy Galloway says performance is equal to potential minus interference so if you have to capture it what can you do so you know there's a beautiful example given in the book which talks about so this game is related to tennis right so it talks about how this one woman is playing tennis and there's a backhand shot that's going to come to her and she's not good at backhand as per her so the moment the ball's coming and she's holding the racket in her hand she suddenly has those thoughts oh my god this ball's coming i suck at it i'm so bad at it what am i going to do and the ball comes and the shot goes bad so what just happened to her what happened to that shot was she able to take it? It went bad and it reconfirmed her voice that, yes, she is bad at it. She is not good at backhand. And that's what our inner voice does to us. It's what we tell ourselves, what we are feeding ourselves that determines our response, that determines our performance. So that's what gets us to the cycle that goes on in our mind just like in this backhand example that I shared with all of you there's a cycle of interference what we think about ourselves, our self-image am I good at the backhand shot um no I'm not so now the perception has become distorted that okay I'm not good at it and the moment the ball comes what goes on for this person there's a distortion of the response, how she would hit that ball at that instance. Because all she's telling herself is she's not good at it, she's nervous, she's scared. So when we're nervous about something, are we able to give it our best shot? It's how strongly our another self talks to us and gives us that will to play, that motivation to play. And this is what distorts our result. The end result was that a shot did not go well. And it reconfirmed her self-image that she's not good at it. And she's labeled herself as not good at it. So then what's going to happen? So there's an outer game we play, which is externally when we perform, when we do something, when we interact with someone, depending on each of our profession. And this book, as he wrote, was particularly for tennis, how you can actually, instead of if a coach had to work on this girl's backhand and he had to correct each and every movement of how she's going to hit the ball, how she has to hold the racket up, down, low, back high how she how feet has to be he would take a lot of time instead if he would just correct her in a voice what she's telling herself whether she's good at it whether she's not if he would work on that she would strengthen her game way faster so it's a beautiful book i would really recommend that you read it if you have interest in this it's called the inner game of tennis by w timothy galway and the session is also adapted from there it's the inner work he did so like i shared there's a potential that we have and our performance is not up to the potential but the fact is that we're not even aware of our potential if we're performing here, we know we're capable of here. And there's some disturbances which we would like to tap on, capture and get here. But our potential actually lies here because we've already undermined ourselves so much. Or we think critically, we also motivate ourselves. But there are these two sides of us that keep playing a game. That keeps happening internally. On one side, we tell ourselves that yes, we can do it. I'm capable. I can do it really well. Be confident. Be smart. On the other hand, there's this voice which is kind of going to shake you, which is going to warn you, which is going to tell you that it's difficult. Maybe it's not meant for you. So which voice you hear is a choice that you have. Because this will happen. 
This is how our human brain works. This is how we process information and this is how we feed ourselves. And this pattern has been going on since we were born, right? Since we started understanding things depending on what people told us and the perception we formed of ourselves. Based on that, we started playing it in a game with ourselves. So as Timothy Galway says, there are two selves that we have. Self one, which is the conscious self, which is always critical, which tells us what to do, what you can do, what you cannot do, which wants to make take the credit for making things better. And it interferes with the performance. But the good news is that this voice can be silenced. It's telling you what you can do, what you cannot do. And on the other hand, we have our doing self, the performing self, right? Which just happens subconsciously. So does anyone remember how you learned to drive a car? Does anybody remember? Do you know how to drive a car and have learned it and have gone through the whole process of understanding? Okay, so Tanaka, you have and do you remember all the step-by-step -step things? How you would like put a lot of focus on the first gear, the second gear, the clutch, the brake, the auto mode, what to follow, what not to follow, the indicators, the rules. And what happens is that once we learn this, it just becomes a part of us because it's a natural capability that we have and we start performing that in a very natural way the moment we're trained in it. So that's what our self do is about. You can train it to do anything and it'll get trained. So this is our do self. It has natural capabilities. It is very intuitive and fluid. If your self one can be silenced, your self two can perform a lot. Because this is where the doing potential stays. The performance comes from here. The actions come from here. And this self, the subconscious self, is, a, is an amazing learner. So our subconscious self keeps learning everything from our environment, from whatever we're exposed to whether it's some video that we're watching, some audio that we're listening to, you know, all the talks, the podcasts that we listen to, ourselves to learn, it's a natural learner. So at times you'll be surprised at how you're able to perform something which you might be doing for the first time because you've heard about it or learned it somewhere, right? So once you give this self of yours the trust it deserves, the trust based on the potential that we spoke about, right? So we perform here, we're aware that we can do better, but what we are actually capable of is way above that, something that we're not even aware of. And that's the self that we have to tap on. That's the potential. That's who we're capable of, but it's been mudded up. It's been layered up with any experience that you might have had, anything that your little voice would have told you, anything which you would have heard in the environment, which your folks would have told you, which your friends would have told you. So it all is a cycle that keeps on happening, that keeps on happening. But you have a choice. Are you going to strengthen this self too towards performance? Because this self too needs trust and motivation. This self too needs that trust and for that all you have to do is silence this critical self the self that keeps telling you that oh this is not possible you won't be able to do it this is not your cup of tea oops there comes the mistake it's always warning us right they always this dilemma but which voice do you choose to listen to which voice, which self do you give that trust in and enable yourself with and perform is what decides where your game goes. What kind of outer game do you play? Because to play any kind of outer game, it's important to will the inner battle, the inner game, the inner voice, and to build that trust and give yourself 
those vibrations, those that self-talk that, yes, you can do it. Is it making sense to all of you? You can use the chat box. You can use the thumbs up. Okay, great. Emotions, chat box, unmute yourself. I would love to hear your voice, guys. Come on. So that's the game it plays. So which one are you? What is your voice telling you? Are you just starting to grow? Are you just starting to bud? Or have you already grown big, growing bigger? Or if you spot yourself in any of these currently, where is it that you want to go? And just like a plant grows with the right resources that are provided to it, the water, the sunlight, the food that it needs, right? We also grow with a similar kind of food. It just doesn't have to be the edible kind of food that we have, that we eat and feed our stomach and give ourselves the energy to perform or do anything but also how we're feeding our soul what is our inner dialogue and how can we strengthen that how can we replace those conversations with what you deserve so the first thing the place the starting point of this inner game is yourself is what you believe yourself to be. What you will tell yourself will become your truth. So choose your words wisely. Choose what you tell yourself each moment. And also it determines how other people interact with you, behave with you and tell you. Because we give them the power to say the good or to say the bad or the motivating or the demotivating. But once you're on that right strike, you will have people even motivating you, pushing you to do things, cheering for you all there. And that'll start with that self-belief. So we're gonna do a small breakout room exercise now. We're gonna split you all into pairs. And you have to identify that voice of yours. Is it a challenge, Laura, really? So we're going to make it easier. Nobody said it's going to be easy. It could be a challenge. But it's when we take the first step that we get the courage to take the second step and we get the courage to take the third step. Right? So it doesn't have to be easy. It has to be worthwhile. It has to be worth your effort. Which is why this breakout room exercise that we're going to do now is going to make this a little easier for you. Because it's going to actually give you a division, a bifurcation, a realization, an awareness of what your self fun is telling you and what your self too is telling you or is capable of if given the trust. Right? So what you have to do is first you can take some time, think about it. So I'm going to give you all two, three minutes and then I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. And you can also use a pen and paper and write it down for yourself. So what is that inner dialogue that's going on for you? What is your conscious self telling you? Is it telling you something that's coming up that you're going to go for? It's hard. You can't do it. You're not capable. Maybe just leave it. Why do it? Why trouble yourself? Anything. These are just examples. Your self fun. Which is that telling voice, that critical voice. Right? So what is the inner critique that you have? You have to identify that. Pen it down for yourselves if you need to. And then comes the self do what you are capable of, your subconscious self, which is a natural learner and is capable of performing. You might not know something. You might still be that small plant in your definition, but you have the potential to grow big. Right? So what is the self to telling you? And the third part of the game is 
what could you tell yourself instead what could you do instead right have you all understood the exercise so this exercise is what is the key the uh, to the takeaway that you'll get from this inner game otherwise it's just a concept it's just theory what you do here what you write here something that's happening inside it's your inner game and it might be personal so when you share it in the breakout room i request everyone to support the other to be there as a good listener to have empathy right no judgment just support just listening because that's what we do in coaching we're trying to play a hard game right a bigger game so how are you going to play that bigger game what are those those goals in front of you that you're working towards what is your self one telling you what is your self two telling you it could be personal it could be professional it could be leisure it could be sport it could be anything identify those areas for yourself identify the voice the self fun and a self too and share it with your partner in the breakout room okay so i'm giving you all two minutes to just silence yourself you all can take a deep breath in and exhale take another deep breath in and exhale do it three times and center yourself before you start understanding and identifying it for yourself. And in another two minutes, I'm going to put you in breakout rooms. Okay, can I have a thumbs up, yes, no, maybe, chat box, unmute reply. Are we all ready for it? Okay, great. I can see a thumbs up. So one, two, three, your two minutes start now. okay so i'm gonna pause you all you've got two minutes you got two minutes to gather your thoughts to put it all together to think through it and now it's just a pause right so you continue this exercise in the breakout room you have 15 minutes on you for the same seven minutes each way right one minute to wrap up one to two minutes you have 15 minutes for this exercise please make the most of this time and uh, it's your confidential space so i request all of you to keep it confidential 
what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. What happens in a coaching conversation in this session here stays within, right? So please respect the other person's personal space and keep it all together. All right, so I'm going to put you in breakout rooms now. And you have 15 minutes for this exercise to take place both ways. So do time yourself for the same. All right, I'm opening all the rooms. Ramio, I can see you yet to join. Do you need any support? Are you here, Ramio? Ramol. Ramol, can you hear us? Please let us know if you're facing any issue. I'm not sure if he's here because I asked him to unmute as well. Ramol. Okay, so I believe if he's here, he's going to respond, respond to us. Okay, he's going to join the room. Now he's there. Maybe it was taking time, the whole process. All right, so we have 15 minutes for this exercise, Mariana. In the meanwhile, we wait. Yeah. Yes. This is the main part, you know. Sorry? All the groups they are talking, there is conversation. Yes. Groups. Yes. So I'm aware that this event is live and our audience also must be waiting for people to come back in here. Yes. Uh, from the live, I can see there is one comment. I think maybe it was to your earlier question. Okay. A Would comment you like to from it? Batul. You have to surround yourself with positive people and bring the best of yourself. Of course, that's something that always, that's true for everyone and everywhere. You know, the more you surround yourself with positive people, the more energy you get, the more positive you become and vice versa. Yeah, but we got to strengthen our inner game as well. Despite what the people might tell us, what are we telling ourselves? So 
this is a one-on-one -on -one game that we're playing. That's why it's 15 minutes long. Yeah. So for all the others, this is about the power within, the inner game that we play, the challenges that we might face and what our inner voice would tell us, the critique voice and what we believe in. So all of you who are viewing this could also do this exercise for yourself and identify for yourself what yourself fun and self do say to you. What are they doing currently for you? And the third column for you to identify what could you say instead. So it's your time to gain clarity around the same too. So that person has responded back and they say, thank you for your reply. And they have said, I say to myself that I'm very honest and straightforward when I communicate with people. Oh, that's so wonderful. Thank you for sharing. Your straightforwardness and honesty is going to stay with you always. You know, they say we become what we believe, what we think we are, who we think we are. There is another comment by the same person. Saying, I have to say instead of that, I have to communicate with people based on their personality to be more influenced and convince others with my ideas. Hmm. Okay. So you could actually put it down in your exercise of self fun and self too. And identify your game for yourself. What is your conversation around these aspects of you, of how you communicate to people, of how you convince them? Identify it, what your self fun says about it and what your self do does or say. And please do share in the comments again what you've identified for yourself.
so more than half of their time is up now they should be back soon and they would have switched partners by now Room one, somebody else is talking. Somebody has dropped in. Did you say that, Mariana? I know. In room one, first it was Sarah talking, and now it is Ramul talking. Okay. So they all have switched now. I think I broadcasted message as well. Yeah, looks like that. So do we also have our viewers doing the exercise, Mariana? I'm just checking. Yes, that person has responded. I have to know the key for each person I deal with to be more effective through my communication. Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. What more comes to you around the same? That's something you need to know externally. But internally, what's your game saying? And how could you communicate without having that key, even if that's the case? So we have Tanak back here, is it? Uh, we have finished uh, the discussion, me and Laura. And so we have okay. agreed that we can maybe go back to the main room. Oh, wonderful. That's great. Welcome back. Thanks so much. Me. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. How was the exercise for you? Yeah, I realized like uh, in as much we are coming from different uh, geographical locations. Like for me, I'm from Zimbabwe. Uh, so yeah, we are one and the same. Like the way like we experience the invoice. Yeah, it may differ. Maybe sometimes the way we 
uh, we uh, like uh, the coping through like something like that. But the way we first maybe that voice which says yes and the other voice which says no, yeah, yeah, you're one and the same. Like we face things differently. There may be maybe different geographical locations, but it manifests like in the same way, something like that. Hmm. So no matter which geography you belong to, human brain, human voice functions the same way all across, right? Yes, We're all yes, human beings. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, so I think it's time for us to close all the rooms. So another one to two minutes, we'll have everybody back here to the main room. We have a response from the viewer, Monday morning. The response is, I have to educate myself in order to read the people. Hmm. Okay. And what is your self fun telling you around the same? The critical self. Is it the self fun, the self too telling you this, that you need to educate yourself? All right, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. How was the exercise? That was a good one. Mm -hmm. With Nevin and Ramul. Uh, we shared our ideas. Uh, my uh, my uh, sentences were like uh, for the conscious conscious self was why did you do it and the subconscious self was you can do better and the third one uh, try yeah try learn and make make it better hmm and after that, we created a scenario like presentation, making a presentation to our uh, teammate in our work. Mm -hmm. So Ramul was, Ramul also uh, shared his ideas and his uh, emotions in terms of uh, these uh, three uh, subjects maybe he wants to share i am i am all <laughs> for now thank you thank you so much sir for sharing that it's a beautiful sharing i'm glad you could do all of that in your breakout room and was it both ways that you were able to share yeah and also nevin uh, shared his ideas they were also uh, important Mm -hmm. They would they would probably want to share them. I don't I, I don't know. I don't make <laughs> uh, oh, to them. Absolutely. We'll put it we the floor is open for everyone to share. Whoever wants to would love to hear from you. So how is this exercise of identifying the self one, the self? Two, 
understanding this game that's going on and what could you eventually do about this game or say what have you been able to identify for yourself okay um so now if i may <laughs> please carissa um, um when seraph now explained <laughs> what what he's in a voice said it's basically like one sentence i will i realized I don't know if it's the female thing, but I had a whole tennis match going on inside when you mentioned that. And we had to... You had to? You had, what I, did I, you have I, I had a whole tennis match going. I was like two ah. sets. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wonderful. So, yeah, no, no, these voices were busy. So I don't know if it's necessarily a good thing. <laughs> um, ah. But um, it, it for me, it, it was. It was an exercise like this puts things into perspective also for you to take stock of where you're at how far you've come and and the areas that you can identify in how you would like to move forward um so for me it is i realized that even though the 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 conscious voice is very strong and self-critical and um driven mostly by fear of failure um I'm I'm also a very grounded person spiritually. So I've learned how to grow those roots very deep. So I counter that with what I know um, is, is inside. Um, yeah, I think it's also a lifetime of experience. I've been on this earth almost half a century. So that does help. I think wisdom comes with, with, with time. Um, well, I hope so. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, for me, it's it's like, and and talking to Nathaniel and hearing his perspective, um, I I was just telling him you're the type of dude that we that you would go to war with, like you would you wow. would be the guy that says, calm down, let's focus. What are we supposed to do? And I'm like, plan, plan, organize, organize, get everything ready. Where's the weapons? Who's doing what? <laughs> wow. So yeah, it's 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 interesting learning someone else's perspective and taking away what you from the um you know how they how they make it and how they become brilliant um mm. in, in, you know implementing that in your own strategy to to become successful and for me it's all about the purpose is outside of myself um the purpose is i was saying the weirdest thing is even though i'm driven to excel my greatest achievement is being a mom. So for me, it's important to show my son that what I say is what I do. And I believe mm. that's, that's where, for me, where it starts. And to, for him to see what I'm doing and, and not only hear, and for him to experience it. So that's my motivation. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Like I said, I had a whole tennis match going on. <laughs> So what are you learning about yourself, Carissa, from this? What I'm learning about myself is I have to say the chill factor has, has, has been growing. Um, mm -hmm. It's also important for me. Um, why am I doing something? Why? What is my intention when I when I interact with somebody? What's my intention when I, you know, get involved in anything? Um, and how would that add value to the person that I'm doing this with? So for me, it's always, that's that's a great motivating factor. I don't know yeah. if that answers your question. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for sharing that, Carissa. Yes, Tanaka. Is it Tanaka okay. or Tanaka? Please tell me. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. So the thing is, um, yeah, it's Tanaka. The pronunciation is Tanaka. Even Tanaka. in Japanese, it's Tanaka. It's still the same. Okay, okay. so I uh, realized uh, from my for conversation or uh, chat, chat room that we had uh, with uh, Laura, like uh, the most similar thing that we realized is like, uh, it's like there's a war within, something like that. And that war within, uh, it just... Uh, the coping mechanism may not be just to run. Uh, sometimes you realize uh, you end up maybe, for example, doing something that you do, you like, that is maybe a hobby, 
whenever you are fighting like that uh, negativity or that voice that is saying no, you end up like concentrating much on things that matter to you. Uh, so maybe talking also to people that uh, you find uh, that like they safe space to you. Uh, that on that one it can save us as a coping mechanism and also like uh, in 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 the process to fight up uh, the 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 negativity you realize uh, there's uh, it, it slowly happens like that you may be surprised like it is went off like the negative is was is went off within a short time something like that and usually um realize uh maybe we also identify something that maybe you find fascinating that sometimes you you might hear uh uh the negative voice even uh manifesting like someone also say maybe a colleague or something maybe no no some saying something which is which is similar to what you are hearing from <laughs> the background or maybe it may be negative or positive but sometimes it manifests physically in on that one i realized like that it might be a very big big challenge i think uh that's it in brief uh thank you so much Wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that, Tanaka. And this is what happens if we hear something externally as well, our inner voice does take that, whether consciously, whether subconsciously. So it's the inner dialogue that determines what we do, how we behave, how we deal with something. What's that inner war like you shared? What's that that's going on within? And what's our coping mechanism? That was a wonderful share. Thank you, Tanaka. Who else would like to share? What is your self fun telling you? And what is your self too telling you that you're capable of? Thank you, Laura, for being a part of it. I just saw her message. Yes, anybody else wants to share any of the partners? So it's like one from each group has shared already. Do the partners want to share? All right, so we're anyways at the close of the session. I would like to hear one takeaway from you from this session. Whatever you've shared, whatever you've understood out of your self fun, yourself do, your inner game, your inner voice. What is it? What is that one thing that you would like to do now? So whether you use the chat box or unmute yourself, would love to hear from you all. What is that one thing that you're committing to now? Something that you would like to do out of this learning and this insight? That's how we're going to up our inner game. So one thing. Always try to hear your positive voice. Hmm. Or at least make it a balance with your positive and negative voices. Hmm. So I'm going to give you a supportive challenge here, Sarif. I know you shared that always make it a point to hear the positive voice. So my supportive challenge is going to be, how can you strengthen that positive voice? That is not uh, easy, of course. Because mm -hmm. as a human being, we are a more tend to negativity mm -hmm. so i guess uh, we should be realistic mm -hmm. but at the same time we need to make ourselves we need to make us uh, encourage ourselves to be in a good mood uh, how to uh I'm not sure. <laughs> so how can you catch yourself? Everything has gone. 
So how could you catch yourself when you see that you've started hearing the other voice since you said it's just it's not easy. So if you do catch yourself doing that, how can you catch yourself and change your game? That's my supportive challenge to you, Sarif. Focusing, uh, focusing on uh, good things about myself and about uh, life, environment, the people around of me, mm -hmm. and events, maybe. So you have to um, think of take a, ah, yeah, I, I have fun. Yeah, I have fun. Take mm -hmm. a little uh, break and uh, breath. <laughs> Mm. And uh, try to think in a, the good things that I counted just before. Yeah. And then move. Yeah, mm. some movement would be helpful. Because mm. the movement uh, cause uh, some good opinions in your mind. Mm. Uh, we always tend to uh, think okay when i am getting a good mood i will do this thing but it uh, it never happens we should do that things and then good mood uh, came to us mm, wonderful so what i'm understanding is that you're talking about taking time off i mean in my words not yours but take that time off and get yourself back in the game and you change your voice. Is that what you were saying? Right. Thank you. Okay, next, next, next. Let's share that one thing that we're going to be doing from now on. We have a response from the LinkedIn line. She has responded as, discover my potential and how can I improve it? Hmm. Wonderful. Thank you for sharing that. Good luck to you. So we're at the close of the session. Anyone else who would like to share before we close today's session? Celebrate the past wins and achievement of goals. Hmm. To so celebrate the past wins. It's like being happy about what you've achieved, huh? Great. Try to look outside yourself. Practice mindfulness. Lovely. That's lovely. Anyone else who wants to share? All right. So there's always an inner game that's going on within us. The voice one, the voice two, it's what we choose to listen to and believe in that shapes our world. So now that you have that distinction and awareness, please use it to your potential, to your advantage, to what you believe you're capable of and you deserve, right? Do not let anybody even yourself and tell you that you cannot do it over to you laura okay just heard from ramo listen to ourself and ask why we do it and how it would be doing is better hmm. all right thank you everyone for being a wonderful audience for sharing for giving it your best in the breakout room and coming back full of energy and sharing here with all of us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for this session. Right. Yes, sir. I think Thank you, everyone. Just... Thank you, Sonam, for this wonderful discussion. And I'm sure everyone from the audience had a lot to learn and put into practice. Thank you once again. So we'll meet next month as well for a continuation to today's session. 
where we go deeper in this inner game. Right, a step up. So looking forward to see you all next month as well, second Wednesday, like Mariana shared. So that's going to be 13th December now. We have our next session on December 13th. And uh, you all can register for the event by scanning the QR code below. More, uh, stay tuned for more details for the session, and you would not want to miss. You'll also receive a feedback form link in the chat box. Would request you all to give your feedback. Thank you all once again. Have a lovely day ahead. All right. Bye, everybody.